Mm. Okay. We'll get started here. Oh, we're not uh, using those today, Brian. We have technical difficulties, so oh. we're, we're going old school. <laughs> um, today, why don't we, we'll I start it out. Oh, Mike's going to be on the phone? Oh, okay. I'll wait a sec here. Hey, good morning, Mike. We're going to begin our meeting now, so uh, okay. see if you can hear everybody all right. Good morning, Mike. Can you hear us? Hey, there's Matt. All right, we're, we're going to start you out right off the bat, so you got to be ready here. We're going to do roll call. Okay, I'm ready. Mike Borley. Here. Brian Johnson. Here. Chad Van Handel. Here. James Bloomer. I'm here. Matt Schuler Here. Okay, let's move into our first uh, item here. We'll go with approval of the agenda. So move. Second. We have a first by Jim and a second by, I think it was Brian. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right, we've approved the agenda. How about minutes from the November 7th meeting? So moved. Second. We have a motion from uh, Chad and a second from Jim. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, let's move on to regular business with a consideration with possible action to accept the new terms for the city's CDRLF loan for Zozo World, doing business as Zozo Kitchen LLC and ZZQ LLC. So, Wendy, why don't we give the floor to you? Yes, good morning. Um, as you know, that Zozo Kitchen has been uh, working hard in the last year. They've been before us a little bit before. Um, they have actually uh, worked with Bank of Luxembourg and myself over the last uh, few months and they have had their property reappraised and it, the values are higher and they would like to do a debt consolidation on their primary loan. Um, they had, as you know, when they came to us, some, some higher credit card debts and some other things that they had used to um, do some repairs at their property and also to purchase equipment and to help with um, some of the startup costs. And now um, the property is reappraised and Bank of Luxembourg would like to refinance the primary loan, which was originally 136, 142, and now they would like to um, add an additional $83,000 to that primary loan. And the new total of the primary um, mortgage would be $219,142, and they will be taking that $83,000 and paying off their credit cards and uh, working with Nick uh, Luxembourg will be doing that. So um, we would be, our $52,200 would be just $83,000 um, further in the subordination in this um, capital stack for this project. And so we're asking the loan committee to review that. And it's not a change then to any of the terms of the loan, the length, the interest rate, the data, it's just moving Everything further. Everything else in our, our category would stay the same just that their primary mortgage is for a larger amount, which is still um, um, within the, they're operating within the uh, evaluation of the property is still appropriate and those sorts of things. The lender couldn't be here this morning, but it was also available for comment if we had questions, but we've been working with uh, um, Eugene. Eugene, yeah. <coughs> Unless there's questions, then I'd, I'd propose we open the floor. Uh, got a motion? A second. A second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Hey, we'd just love to hear from you, right? It's been um, probably uh, quite an eventful year. I remember the cold temperatures last year, um, throwing a curveball. So I think we'd just love to hear a little bit over the last year. How's it gone? Where's the business today? How much is happening in catering versus kind of retail restaurant operations? And just kind of get an update on the business and what's going on. We had our busiest week last week, okay. which was amazing. Good timing. And definitely have some strong employees. The catering, that's more buzz with the restaurant. You know, you do this, like that. And just to ha see it go and hear people talk about it when we're out and about. Um, Numbers-wise, we're meeting our, we are exceeding the projections that I had initially come up with uh, when I we first came to the committee, which when I saw that, when I read on the numbers, I was really happy with that. Um, we've extended our days from, we started with two days a week, now we're open Wednesday through Sunday. We have our regulars that come in. 
Uh, we signed up with the Eat Street, which has been a huge bonus for us in the delivery because it's hard to find somebody that has a clean driving record and <laughs> is available to steadily come into work. Uh, so Eat Street definitely has given us an uptick of sales. Um, being in the industrial park, we do a lot of catering for um, Georgia Pacific, Green Bay Packaging. Green Bay packaging. Uh, so we'll drop off lunches there. It's, uh, it's been a wild, wonderful ride. On the catering end, uh, we've had uh, another record year, 58 weddings, 35 corporate events. So a total of 80 some events already this year. Um, probably getting another 20, 30 events yet before the end of the year, just with Christmas parties for businesses and stuff like that. And it's growing. And another, another, another good wedding season coming up of things booked for next year. So yeah. the catering aspect is doing really well. And it's really nice when he talks about another 20, 30 events by the end of the year. We're in the last month, but having the restaurant and the ability to not have to forward think two weeks in advance to get something done. Two years ago, we were turning down these jobs because we didn't have the capability of doing it. This year we are, and it's mainly we get it, we drop it off, say have a great day, and go on. Did you want to share your um, end numbers? I know Eugene had talked about that it was a three hundred thousand dollar year. Oh yeah. I can actually. Get That's the okay. I mean, just in general. Just yeah, it's it's, it's a little over three hundred thousand this year. No, we've got, so it's definitely, it's making its its profit, it's doing what it needs to do to support itself, it's just that personally ramping it up, now we're feeling that, that weight and we're trying to get that off. So if we can still keep the projection that we're going, along with relieving that personal weight of the startup costs, we're going to be really set nicely. So what was the initial appraisal on the building, approximately? 186? Yeah, I think it was... Yeah, and, and, who, and who did you guys buy from? Uh, the Fraternal Order of Eagles. Oh, really? Okay. Great. But I think the the actual city value is three hundred some. Three hundred success value. And then the new appraisal came in. I don't know if I have a copy of that, but um, two seventy five or something. Okay. Well, good. Yeah, good work. Great to be able to improve the property, and yeah, that's fantastic. Doing all the right things. How many employees do you guys have? Ooh. Between the catering, which is very part time, and you're looking at more of people that have full time jobs, they just sure. want to come and grill and drink beer, um, <laughs> to our regular employees who we, this is their only employment, we have about 30. Okay, great. Right. Which probably, would probably 20 are low income. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And probably would add 10, <laughs> 10 if you could find <laughs> Right. <laughs> right, and of course the, there's an attrition rate associated mm -hmm. with that because it's the service industry. Mm -hmm. But we've definitely developed a core group of about five people that we rely on quite a bit, and it's nice to have that At, on the restaurant side, not the catering. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard you guys sleep there sometimes. Is that true? If we're doing <laughs> an overnight cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know he calls sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if, we're, if we have a 16-hour cook for a catering event, we're going to need to be there with the meat so it doesn't get... Sure. So, yeah, there's a bet there. Well, that's a commitment. <laughs> that's great, great Fully story. invested, I would say. Good for you guys. Yeah. Any other questions from anyone? Maybe just a compliment. You, you know, we had you guys at... Uh, I'm the executive director of On Broadway. Oh. And I know you guys participated in Taste. And I just heard, heard overwhelmingly positive feedback Thank about you. about whatever it was you had at the event. I didn't get there fast yeah. enough. So <laughs> I, I made eight hundred sandwiches. We were out in two out in what an hour and a half. Oh, I ran out. Yeah. I, had, I had enough for eight hundred, thinking that was enough. Yeah. And we went through all eight hundred portions in under an hour and a half or two hours. Yeah, I'm guilty of dragging my feet. Everyone was like, "You got to get over there." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, I will." You know, no, I didn't get there fast enough. So thank you. Oh, yeah. thank you. Appreciate it. Right. I think that's helpful. I'll entertain a motion and just to return to regular. So move. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Um, so we have the action in front of us, which is basically right not to change the terms. There will just be a larger loan in front of us that we're subordinated to. Um, and would anybody like to make that motion? I'll so move. Second. So we have a motion by Jim and a second um, by Brian. 
All those in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for updating us. And uh, congratulations Future on your first luck. year. That's yeah. a yeah. Mike that's a big deal. Yeah. I'm going to hang up, okay? Uh, okay, just point of information, the, there must be this microphones because I could hear um, the clients talk, but when, when the board would talk, it would cut it and out. Okay, maybe I'll have to work on that a little bit. Thank you for letting us know. Mike, we're going to have to get you here physically. <laughs> real testament to you guys that's that's yeah. great progress and I know that things didn't go perfectly um, during the first year so way to persuade I think so do we have a motion to adjourn motion second we have a motion and a second all those in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. we are adjourned quickest meeting maybe ever <laughs>